Hello and welcome to Animal Wise. Today we're going to talk about the German Shepherd, also known as Alsatian, in Britain and Ireland. The story of the German Shepherd dates back to 1890, when cavalry captain Max Emil Frederick von Stefanitz began to follow his dream of developing a noble-looking working breed. In 1899, this cavalry captain found Hector in a dog show, the dog that would become the founder of the breed. Their beautiful appearance, incomparable character and great intelligence have led the German Shepherd to be one of the most popular dogs of all time. They stand out for having a wide and wedge-shaped head, their most distinctive feature, and the one that catches the most attention. In the upper part of their heads are the medium-sized ears, erect and pointed. The height at the withers is 60 to 65 centimeters for the males and 55 to 60 centimeters for females. Their tail is long and can reach the hock when it hangs at rest. According to the official standard of the German Shepherd, the coat corresponds to a double layer with internal fur. The outer fur should be as dense as possible, straight, hard and well attached to the body. Among the colours of the German Shepherd we find solid black, black and tan, yellowish and even grey in various shades. The character of the German Shepherd is balanced, confident and reliable. The courage of these dogs is legendary, as is their defence instinct. But courage and defence are not the same as aggressiveness and danger. Although the German Shepherd tends to be somewhat distrustful of strangers, they are not an aggressive dog breed by nature. On the contrary, they tend to be alert but do not attack without reason. The German Shepherd is an easy dog to train and reaches their full potential when trained through positive reinforcement. They are excellent companions for any family that gives them good care and attention. It is not a dog that can spend long hours alone, it needs a life partner to stimulate them constantly. German Shepherds can adapt to living in an apartment, but they need a lot of exercise and long walks. They are agile and active and need to exercise their muscles outdoors. A small garden can help, but it should never replace the walks and play sessions that you should have. Practicing any type of canine sport such as agility can help maintain the dog's health. The training of the dog is also important to help develop the intellectual capacity of the dog. It is not very difficult to keep the coat of the German Shepherd in good condition, since it does not require special cuts. However, this breed sheds lots constantly, so daily brushing is important. Bathing should not be very frequent because it damages the natural protection of their hair. Every month and a half or every two months will be enough. German Shepherds are excellent dogs with whom to work education and obedience. Their natural predisposition and great intelligence make it inevitable for us to want to discover and explore all their abilities. As with all existing dog breeds, the puppy's education will have a major impact on the future adult German Shepherd. This is why it will be essential to work quickly in the development of the dog, socialization, stimulation of the senses and intelligence games. A good education will help us avoid the appearance of behavioural problems. In the adult stage it will be basic to work obedience and tricks in a very regular way to keep the dog mentally healthy. It is very important to consider this point before adopting a German Shepherd. We are facing a very intelligent dog that should be able to enjoy an adequate life. In their education and training we must include many environmental enrichment sessions, all based on positive reinforcement. Unfortunately, the great popularity of the breed has led to the indiscriminate breeding of German Shepherds, with purely commercial purposes. This procedure has had a negative impact on the breed. Therefore, the German Shepherd is prone to some hereditary diseases such as hip dysplasia, elbow dysplasia, digestive problems, epilepsy, chronic eczema, keratitis, inflammation of the cornea and dwarfism. Despite offering good care to this dog breed, visiting the vet every six months, 
Deworming them and following their vaccination schedule will assure we will be able to enjoy them for a long time. Their current life expectancy is of around 13 years. And this is the end of today's Animal Wise video. Do not forget to like if you enjoyed it and subscribe to learn more about the animal world. See you soon!